It's your man, Big Veg. Okay, another dope episode. But as I always do, I got to break it down because it's something serious. Um, So let's see. Saturday just passed. Sunday just passed. What's the day that would represent the first day of the week? Ooh, the first day of the week. I don't know. I kind of feel like Sunday. Yeah, Sunday would probably be the first day of the week just because Saturday, Saturday is the time to get all of the all of the mess from the previous week out. Okay, so so what's the day after that? The day after Sunday? Monday. That means it's music Monday videos! <laughs> you saw I did that, right? <laughs> it's music Monday! The face told the whole story. It's something serious, okay? As we continue to push the culture, man, you know what we do here, man? We shine the light on independent artists and industry professionals, and today we have a dope Young queen, she's doing her thing. Illinois in the building, so we made West Coast in. <laughs> Christina Jones, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, 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 so you out here in New York, you're doing your thing. Um, I know we have we have a lot to talk about because your story is very dope. Even though you're young, you still you, you've done a lot and have more to go. Yeah. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you're from Illinois, you're a dope singer, um, you have this dope personality, like, um, like, 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 like you do a lot. Um, you, you did American Idol, yeah. um, you know what I'm saying? You, you got your EP dropping, which is called what? It's called You Were My Compass. Mm-hmm. All right, that's what it is. So, so, so we'll go, so. We're gonna get into that too because that 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 EP is special because I know you with, 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 with the creation of that EP you you collaborate with somebody overseas in Germany but 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 we'll we'll get into that we'll get into that I want I want to lead the story in you know what I'm saying um well before we get into the story what's the music scene out there music scene is pretty popping I'm not gonna lie uh, a lot of blues a lot of blues uh, pre COVID you know you could find me down at like the st louis national blues museum you could find me down doing the artist jam yes 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 um yeah it's just it's there are a lot of jazz clubs down there there are a lot of blues clubs down there and it's it's a pretty fun time it's a real fun time that's what it is um so let's get into the story of how you i guess you know your story of how you got into music so i feel like you know like music has been a part of you since the beginning of time as far as your time right so talk about how you got introduced to music and how you how you made music yours basically oh yeah so i've been singing ever since i was born to be <laughs> out the womb out the womb i was just you know <laughs> like, um my dad was the one that actually introduced me to a lot of the styles that i love now old school r&b and the soul the soul music absolutely absolutely i have the deepest connection to soul r&b and jazz in particular uh just because that's well i mean that that's what i grew up with that's what my dad loved um shout out to papa papa jones <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um but I, you know as i started growing older i wanted to expand my my i guess my repertoire and like my my music style i guess and so eventually i started falling in love with musical theater and then i realized that once i started getting into musical theater i realized okay i want to do more than just sing on a stage you know like i i want to be an entertainer i want to be a performer and so I started doing lots of like singing competitions. I started doing a lot of plays and musicals in high school, like stuff like outside of my school as well. On American Idol, and that was a fun time. Oh, yo, y'all gotta check out her taping because first of all, you tell she young because she had braces on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um. Listen. Not the Invisalign. <laughs> Not the but but listen, she yo yo the 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 faces that she that 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 the um, judges made, you knew that she was supposed to be there, and that was something serious. All right, we're gonna get into America Idol a little bit later. But um, let's talk about you getting into performing because I feel like that's not not where that started, but like that's where you started to hone into your skills oh, yeah. as a singer, right? And this all started what, in high school when you started performing. I actually started performing um, a lot earlier than that. Okay. So I I started out just kind of like singing around church and just okay. doing like little small gigs around. My Always house. starts in the church. Yeah. One twelve, <laughs> Ursha, okay, Jagged Edge, Mary J, church. Mary J, yes, absolutely. <laughs> But yeah, I started I started there and after a while I kind of was like, okay, what else is there for me? You what's what's know, next? What's next? What's next? And so yeah, I just I just kind of started looking for what was next around my city. Um and yeah, I just went out there and I and I think I'm still getting out there. I think that there's still a lot more that I can do and there's a lot more that I want to do. Um, how, 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 how young are you, Queen? How what? Uh? How young are you? I'm 21. 21? Father Time is on his side. <laughs> <laughs> she got time. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So as you start to gradually get into, you know, uh, you know, getting, in, I guess, building this passion for, 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 for becoming the singer, songwriter, this entertainer for the future, I know there's uh, some people that you looked up to that we could say that were definitely inspirations, like the, the, um, the, 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 um, you know the Whitney's, the 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 Gladys Knights. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, those were those were two of my biggest inspirations. Especially performing wise. Oh yeah, um, I think for me especially Ella Fitzgerald was another one of my biggest influences. Just because, even just listening to her, you could just you could feel her energy on stage. You know, felt everything she said. Everything, everything. 
from every run to every scat to every syllable to every word that she said, like you could tell like everything had an intention and everything had, like, nothing was done on accident. You know, even if it was her just making shit up on the spot, like, and that to me was the most amazing thing. And I, I wanted to be that. And so I would try and mimic that. Um, a lot of times, like, I still do this now, but I used to just, like, listen to Ella Fitzgerald's scats, and I would, like, try and memorize um, her scat sections in some of the, you know, in her songs. Um, and it's really hard because she's a legend. <laughs> and really, like, no matter what I do, I know that I will never be able to recreate what she did, right. but I know that I can take what I have and do with, do with her work uh, do it what you work. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I love that that that's why that's why Veg is here. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I can I can I can put myself into her work. Put 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 your spice on. Right, right. Because the last thing that I want to be is a carbon copy. Right, right, right I can right. use her as influence, but I don't want to be her. I want to be. You want to be. You want to be Christina Jones. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and also to even go more further, I know you like to, uh, your type, uh, you're like a lyrical, not a lyrical artist, but you like to put words together and make sure whatever you are singing and whatever you write or whatever you're, you're recording is, they mean a lot of things. Talk about the process of, of making songs. Cause I feel like that's a process you take very seriously. Yes. For me, lyrics at the end of the day are the most important thing to me. So, so we can say that lyrics matter. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, um, I usually start out with lyrics. And for me, I think that this is where the tricky part comes in songwriting for me because oftentimes I have trouble coming up with melodies. Um, because the words come first. So we can say your strong point is definitely lyricism as opposed to making melodies. Yeah. Um, Even though you can sing very well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I, I also write poetry. And for me, poetry is a lot easier for me to write than songs. Just because with songs, yes, melodies can come. But a lot of times it can come a little bit more difficultly than having words flow together, which is really weird. Well, well, I mean, well, I mean well, well, as a singer, like, you know, rappers just rap when they get into the booth where they just rap. But singers, you got to sing, you got to be on key, you got to you got, you got to harmonize, mm -hmm. you got to do the riffs, you got to do the oohs, the ahs, the la 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 las. And I just rhymed there, but anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. No, no, but I'm saying singers have it a little bit, you know, it, 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 it's a little you know, more, not I want to say difficult, but it's more of a process of putting songs together with singers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so. feel like you have to think about it a lot more because as a singer, the mood of the song kind of has to match what you're right. singing, right. especially depending on the message that you're trying to convey. Like, it, like, for me, I think sometimes something really interesting that some artists do is a song could have a completely different vibe from what they're tr singing about, you know? Um, and I just think, yeah, I think that music and lyrics, they have to make sense together. Like, even- Yeah, they have to mesh well. Yeah, they, they have to mesh well. Um, uh, we're gonna get into into one of your videos. Um, one of the joints I know that 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 you know that they, that you're putting out is uh, the moments joint. What's that called? Just a moment ago. Just a moment ago. Lounge lounge vibes. Yeah. Lounge vibes. So we're gonna get into that quick video and then we'll come back. We're gonna talk more with her. We're gonna talk about her making idol experience because you know there's artists that are watching that might want to do that. Being that the world is starting to open up a little more, and of course, getting into these uh, these 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 contests and all that, so we're gonna get into this video. Then we're gonna come back. It's your man, Big Vez Music Monday videos. We in the building. Christina Jones is in the building. The young queen. <laughs> Tap in, all right. Don't go nowhere. Keep it locked. Just a moment ago. Just 
just a moment ago We were a couple of love You said I won't leave you But you'd already packed your stuff So you opened the door And just walked away From so many years And one precious day And you never knew I'm your man, Big Veg. It's something serious. We in the building, okay, with the young queen, the jazz, the pop, the, the smooth, Christina Jones. How you doing, queen? I am doing swell. <laughs> swell. Swell. I like that. That's, 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 that's different, right? <laughs> um, so, so, so let's talk about your American Idol experience. Um, you know, you, you, you being young and, 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 and coming into the game, why did you choose the American Idol as, I guess, one of the big contests to make? Why not The Voice? Why not, you know what I'm saying, um, this, that, and the third, but why American Idol? Here's the thing. Um, I don't like reality TV. Um, <laughs> my vocal coach actually encouraged me to audition because, yeah, because she wanted me to take that next step. Um, I realized looking back at the time, I definitely was not ready because uh, I was only 18. I was still in, I was still a junior in high school. Like I was a baby, like I was a baby. And I was still finding myself as an artist. So to- so Yeah, you're still trying to figure things out. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure things out. So to be on that show and to try and figure myself out and just kind of being this like, I don't know, this piece of clay, it was kind of difficult for me to feel like I belonged because I didn't really know I didn't I didn't know what to do with myself essentially like I had a good time I met a lot of really really interesting people loved working with Lionel Richie because I they loved you I could tell cuz when you, when you listen when, when you wait when you, listen y'all gotta go check check the tape out cuz when she hit that high note I saw the ooh <laughs> girl listen. stop playing listen yeah, Lionel cool. okay the braces and all that I, yeah <laughs> I Listen, Lionel was the one that I was trying to impress the most because Lionel was the person that I grew up with. Right, right, right. So when so I it made sense when you you know I, I I know you was nervous like yeah 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 I believe you. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, when I walked into that room and I saw him for the first time, I was like, oh, don't fuck it up. <laughs> it's it's just about to get real. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> um. But yeah, like it, it was it was just so exciting being in front of there. But, you know, I, I wasn't ready. And so. Um, talk, I, to talk about your experience, like 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 just in case there's people that are watching, especially independent artists. Right. That yeah. once again, the water's starting to open up. So, um, um, you know, obviously the voice and a lot of these contests, you know, are, are, are going to start coming back into fruition. Right. So. So talk about your experience on the show. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie. A lot of times I felt very pressured to either not necessarily be something that I'm not, but be something that is beyond who I am, if that makes any sense. You know, like I felt like as much as I was me, I felt like I wasn't enough for the environment that I was in. 
you know, like I, I guess like I didn't expand on my story enough or my personality wasn't big enough or something like that. And maybe that was because, you know, I, I didn't really, again, I didn't really know who I was. So at the time, at the time, I didn't really know who I was. So I wasn't prepared to be in that environment but there was definitely a sense of disconnect when I was there just because I felt like I had to work really hard to be myself even though I thought I already was um so I I it was it was that struggle between enjoying myself and having the time of my life on stage but at the same time knowing that i i i was misplaced you know i kind of felt like i kind of felt like a missing not a missing link but the odd one out a little bit so the outcast yeah 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 um how far did you make it i made it to top 40 so yeah yeah i remember the the very last performance that i did i remember my vocal coach and my mama and my dad and everybody were in the crowd all the good people um they were all in the crowd and i remember when i when i stepped off that stage they came up to me they said i've never seen you do that before like you were who was that who was that you yeah like it was me <laughs> but see like i that was the fir- i think that was the first time that i had ever felt really connected with myself um and you know it like i had been coached by the people on the show and i wasn't necessarily like giving them what they wanted i felt i i, you know, I could have that was the disconnect right? that was the disconnect um but that was the first time that I really, really felt like I belonged on that stage because I was so connected with myself and I was kind of, it was weird because I was kind of figuring myself out while I was on stage. Um, and, you know, even though I didn't make it, I was still proud of myself just because. Top 40, like, yeah. you know, well, yeah. like, you can't get no better than that. I mean, you know, yeah. top Top better top forty than top fifty, right? I'm, I'm just saying. That's that is very true. That's very true. Um, so definitely, congratulations to you to making it that far and just just that 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 being a part of your journey. Uh, let, let's let's move on to your EP, right? Our EP is called the, the what's it called again? Uh, it's an album and it's called You Are My Compass. You Are My Compass. How many tracks are on the album? Eight. Eight. Mm-hmm. So I already get from from the from the from from one of the singles, um, the love joint. Um, wedding vibes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so be ready to get booked. Like I said, the world is opening up. So get ready to get booked to do some weddings because you about to sing some, 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 some people together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but I feel like the, the, the album is going to be pop, jazz, real smooth. Like, talk about when people are hearing the album. Actually, before that, let's talk about the process of making the album because, once again, you, you connected with a queen overseas in Germany. Talk about that. Yeah, so she found me. Um, I, I did, I've been, well, okay. <laughs> let me try that again. <laughs> I did a lot through my school. Um, I did a lot of music videos. I did a lot of collaborations. And I remember... One day, I looked at my Instagram and my Facebook, and I saw that this woman, Kimiko Shizaka, reached out to me and said, Hey, I, I saw one of your videos, and I think that you'd be perfect for my first jazz album. Yeah. Um, you know, she sent me the music. She told me the story behind it all. And I don't know. I was just, I was really, really inspired by it. And I said, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it was done completely online. Right. Uh, this is obviously during COVID, right? Yeah, so it was, it was all during COVID. I still have never met them before, um, but we we worked together as best as we could to um, put together this album. I worked as best as I could to kind of put my foot in it, you know, kind of like make it my own. Um, but at the same time, I still wanted to tell her story in the way that she needed it to be told. So. Uh, Girl, you sound good on 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 the joints. <laughs> Thank you. Saying, like, like, you did justice. Thank you. Thank you. So so we kind of went over the process of, of of making you know the whole record, but when you know uh, when this when this album gets released, um, what 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 is the audience going to get from 
some some hair in this album. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that when this album is released, people can not only hear but fully experience this story. You know, because it is a very complex story. There are a lot of very complex um, journeys that Kimiko goes through. Right. Um, and I'm really, really hoping that not only do people feel, I guess, the, the loss and the heartbreak, I'm hoping that they also feel the hope and the empowerment behind, I guess, getting over something like that and rising above something like that that's happened. Because at the end of the day, you know, she's she's doing good. Like, she just had her baby. Like, she, she got a loving husband. Like, she's doing good. Um, and so... Well, well, go ahead and shout them out. Shout them out. Yeah, like, she... Kimiko... Kimiko doing good. Like, but at the same time, you know, like, she she had to find herself in order to get to the place that she is right now. And I'm really, really hoping that people can have a really interesting time going through that journey of finding herself through all of this. Right. And the album, of course. Right. right, and the album, of course, yeah. All right, that's what it is. Um, so, with, you know, last couple of questions. Um, with you being so young, what are some goals you have, like, as, um, you know, for your future you're trying to achieve? You know, like, everybody wants the Grammys. Not Well, yeah, everybody. I'm not going to say not most people. Everybody wants the Grammy. People want to sell records. They want to travel the world. Some artists just want to record and just put, you know, want to change the world in some way. What are some goals that Christina Jones has? Yeah, so I have a few. <laughs> um I really, really, at the end of the day, want to end up either on Broadway or in TV and film, or both. Honestly, for me, I would love to do both. Um, I also would really, really love to do voiceover because I, I consider myself a voiceover artist as well. Like, I never hear you like doing a cartoon or something. Yeah, yeah, I really like. Yo, I, Disney, what's up? Disney, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, holla. Pixar. Oh, Pixar, 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 what's up? <laughs> but yeah, like, okay. I've, yeah, awesome. I've had a, I've had an interest in video games and animation okay. since awesome. I was, yeah, since I was a kid. Well, I mean, that's, that's why I said, like, I don't just want to be a singer, like, I want to be an entertainer. Gotcha. I want to be a performer. And I know that I can do more than just, you know, plop myself on a stage and sing a pretty tune and then walk away. Right, right. Like, that's... You want to do more then? There's more. Do more. I know that I can do more. I know that I'm capable of doing more and I want to do more so I I want to take advantage of using my voice to the fullest capability you know not just singing you know but um so, so voiceovers um give me one more. one more one more goal one more goal okay um I would also love to be a recording artist you know it's not my it's not my first goal anymore I I probably would have had a different answer a few years ago but um Singing is my passion, but singing for me is not the main goal. Mm. But I would still love to, you know, be a dibble and dabble in that as well. Yeah, yeah, dibble and dabble in that. Um, yeah. Um, let's talk about because you've done so much. But like I said earlier in the interview, there's a lot more to do. But for those that are just coming up in the game, like give some advice to those that are watching, especially females, right? Because oh, yeah. uh, you know we're living. And, you know, we're living in a male-dominated industry, you know what I'm saying, as far as music, right? So there's there's somebody watching that's about to get into the game, maybe like you, maybe they want to do American Idol, maybe they just want to sing on stage, they want to do the theater, they want to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Get some advice to those that are watching right now. So there were a few things that I had to keep in mind um, with starting out in my career. I mean, I'm still starting out in my career. But there are a few things that I had to learn and that I am still learning. The first thing is that you don't have to just do one thing. You know, you can you can do whatever you want to do. Multitask. Yeah, you can multitask. Like, you don't have to focus on just one thing. I mean, if you are better at one thing than the other, you know, by all means, like, pursue that but at the go hard at that but yeah go hard at that but know that you are not one thing right. you know you are limitless you know um another thing especially for females in this industry yes especially for females who are trying to make their come up 
please be assertive. Mm -mm. Please be. What's the word that I'm looking for? You good with words too? Come on. I, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, uh, do not be afraid to be assertive. Do not afraid to be ambitious, because a lot of times, especially when you're working with men. Um, being assertive and setting boundaries right, right. for yourself, right, right. you can come off as, I'm going to just keep it frank, you can come off as being a bitch. You can come off, as, you can. And then, you know, but don't let that fool you. You know, it's okay to set boundaries. It is okay to say no to things because guess what? Like that opportunity that you said no to that you knew was just not right for you, there are 10 more opportunities that are better. You know, your talent will make room for you. That's what my mama always tells me is that your talent will make room for you. So if you say no today, you can say yes to something else. And then after that, you can say yes to something else, you know, saying no or yeah, saying no and setting boundaries does not mean that it's going to end your career, you know? Big shout out to Mama Jones. <laughs> we, <laughs> we love you, girl. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Um, last thing before we end this interview, um, tell them where they can follow you. I, I know you have a website, so, so let's start with that first. Yeah. I want all the traffic to go to the website, and then we'll do all the third-party stuff. Yep, so you can follow me, you can find me, <laughs> you can find me at www.christinajones.com. That has all the information on the album. Uh, Jones with an S or a Z? Uh, J-O-N-E-S. Okay, we doing regular, regular smegular, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no Ebonics, but shout, shout out to Big L, <laughs> Harlem. Yeah, but yeah, you can find all the information on the album. You can find out information about me. You can also find tickets to the live stream that I'm doing this weekend. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Christina Jones Official and my Facebook page, Christina A. Jones. Uh, yes, I do have TikTok. I, I, I goof off on TikTok. As, as you should. You're young! Goof off! <laughs> I do. I goof off on TikTok. But if you want a good laugh... Um, my TikTok is underscore Christina Jones. Make sure you follow the queen. She on, her, she on the rise. So, you know, it's something serious. <laughs> um, we go get into this last video. Um, what's it called? The, the Compass Joint, which is actually the title of the album, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are my yep. That's the inspiration for the whole thing. So we're going to get into this last video. Listen, man. Listen, everybody submit their videos, man. It's musicmoneyvideos.com. Okay. We are here. We are here to, 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 to show off the youngins like this queen. She about to, listen, she about to blow up. I'm no, 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 no. She's not trying. She's good. <laughs> we're, we're speaking into existence. Okay, okay. She's good. She's, listen. Listen, it's going to be something serious, all right? On that note, we, yo, we out of here. Big shout out to Another Planet Studios, our sponsor. They got the best studio in Brooklyn. So if you're out here, make sure you go check my man Dre Day. He the man. He, yo, he's the man that's setting the tone for Brooklyn Studios out here, man. On that note, we out of here. Last video is something serious. I'm your man, Big Vez. Make sure you follow me, too. Your man, Big Vez, B-I-G-V-E-double-G. -G. And um, keep it locked. We got more artists. We got more independent artists. We got more industry professionals, all right? But we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Cause the brightest star fell out by this star alone did I find my way about you and my compass in life and without you I'm completely lost you were my life when there was darkness and frost I would like to leave but I can't